everybody and welcome to another episode of our FM19 Journeyman where today we are here for the semi-finals of the Eastern Conference where we have been drawn against Orlando City. So it's certainly going to be a difficult game but I am confident we will be able to take it. So, well, you'll see that these two games are two day or a day apart. There is a day separating them. Which is very close, to be honest. That's a very tight schedule. But then, this is what really concerns me. For a week after this, we are in an international break. Now, depending on when the final is, there is a good chance we could be missing players for the final. Yeah, that's a bit concerning, really. So, I'm just hoping that it's not the case, to be honest. Because, as we know, the two players who go on international duty are Trent Smith, our left-back, and Juan Harvey, our left-winger who are both pretty crucial to the side, to be honest. So, well, I'm just kind of hoping that that doesn't happen. But, for now, let's just focus on the games in front of us. So, we are away first. Away at Orlando City. We are going with a relatively standard formation for us. But, I am going to bring Tuto back in for Filazola. Despite him having a good game out there last time, I do just think Tuto is the better man for the job, to be honest. So, I'll bring him in as a roaming playmaker. And hopefully we can have a good performance. And I'd love to see us reach, at the very least, reach the conference finals. I think that should be our bare minimum goal, to be honest. So, they come out. Similar formation to us. Let's get stuck straight in. Aggressively. Um, avenge what happened when we last played them. Five players looked motivated, which isn't too bad at all. I'd just like to see quite a few goals. Uh, no. You'd like to... Where's the um, extra tactical work? Bit of a rest. It's all good. We're itching to set the record straight. Let's get stuck in and hopefully let's score a few goals and turn these over. Well, we do have a throw in. Sullivan throws forward, but it's picked up by them. But Sullivan does claim back. Plays forward to Tuto, who knocks across to Plume. And we're looking, looking to create a chance. Smith on it on the left-hand side. Goes for the cross. McDonald goes close, but it is blocked. It turns into a corner for us. Good early effort there, but... Well, it's deflected with relative ease as we are going to take the corner. Harvey on it! Goes close, but Romero pushes over the bar. And, well, we're going to get another corner from it. Can we maybe get anything from this one? As McDonald puts in once again, but it's relatively poor. Nobody on the back post. And as Tuto actually gets back on the ball, slides forward. They put in a tackle in the box, but it was clean. They did bring our player down, but they got the ball first. And, well, nothing there coming from it. But seven shots, four on target this early into the game. Not bad. Well, we do have another corner. McDonald's going to take. Find someone on the near post. I didn't quite catch who it was, but we just head over the bar. We're going close again, but we just can't find the back of the net as they have a corner of their own. Castillo puts in. They head over the bar themselves. Sh chances mostly coming from set pieces for both teams, but we've certainly been the better so far. It's right on the edge of half time. Harvey takes a free kick and scores. Absolutely slams it into the keeper who just can't get it out. He hits it, but it just goes into his own net. Juan Harvey with his sixth of the season. Very good goal here. Wonderful curve on that free kick. And you can see here, Romero does parry it, but just into his own net. And it's such a good strike, and it does put us 1-0 up. And also, that crucial away goal, which is going to be a massive benefit to us, especially, you know, going into the second leg, is going to really help. So, I'm pleased how things are going. Keep it up. Let's get stuck straight in, and hopefully... Well, just keep things going. We've got a throw in deep in their half. Smith finds Plume. Can we create another chance as Sullivan is on it in the centre? To Sarafiore, to Tuto on the edge of the box, who knocks across to Petrelli. Great ball. Tuto on it again to Sarafiore, who just strikes high and wide. It was close. It was a well-carved out effort. Tuto doing some excellent creative work, but can't quite find the goal. They've got a throw in in our own half. I was considering making a change, but... Well, we'll see what happens here first as Hassan is on the ball. Plays forward to Correa. They're working it nicely and that is a great ball out wide. Are they going to put in the cross? They are. And they level at 1-1. Thiago Pay scoring the goal. His first of the season. And mm, that's frustrating. And I think I'm going to go with the change I was going to make. Which is going to be to put Petrelli up front. And then bring on Felipe Mora on the right wing. Maybe as a more attacking player? No, let's keep him as a supporting winger for now. And, well, it's, it's unfortunate to go back to 1-1, but it is, you know, worth remembering, if it stays as this over the two legs, we do still have the lead due to our away goal, which isn't too bad at all. So, yeah, it's, it's not the best scenario to be in, but it's not too bad either. And as they're going to take a free kick here, can we maybe win this and try and find another goal for us? Well, Smith finds the loose ball, goes all the way back to Montoya, 
And we're gonna look to build from the back and try and create another chance as Tuto rolls forward to Mora, the substitute. Can he find a pass forward? Petrelli is there, but he finds Harvey, knocks it across, and Harvey strikes for his second of the game, assisted by Mora. And Harvey, with another absolute rocket of a shot, the power he puts behind them is ridiculous, but... Yeah, it was a very well carved out chance. Mora put the ball across and I do believe they got a touch on it before it did find Harvey. But yeah, they slid in there, but the, they just couldn't stop it. It just fell through anyway. Harvey with another wonderful strike and we now have two away goals. An excellent position to be in. We've got a free kick. Edge of the box. Harvey strikes once again, but this time the keeper is able to keep it out. He's on for his hat trick and you can see he wants it. But well, so far he's not getting it. 80 minutes in and I'm a little bit conscious that we do have another game to play in a couple of days time. So I'm going to bring on Filozola for Sarafiore and then just put Tio uh, sorry, Tuto, nearly call him Tiote for a second, in the centre of the park. Bring on, uh, yeah, Filozola as an attacking central midfielder when I can actually click the button. And I kind of want to make another change, but I don't really know who. I might bring on Barilaro for Petrelli up front and just give some of those starters a little bit of a rest and just, you know, just make sure they're fit for that next game. Well, we've got a throw in. Smith is going to take, finds Plume, and another goal certainly would not go amiss as we play forward to Filozola, who tries to play another forward pass, but it is blocked, and they're now coming to attack us as Ball is on the ball. Is he going to put in a cross? Well, he is, and it goes to the back post. Montoya saves one, but Leo Ortiz does score a goal. Are we looking at the, the referee? No. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to count, and that is a 2-2, and it's the substitute, Filozola, who gave the ball away, which is rather unfortunate. I wasn't sure if Ortiz was offside from this first shot. No, the, uh, the player over here, I believe it's Manco, yeah, it is, was playing him onside. It's unfortunate, really, but we're still in a winning position due to the away goals, as we do have a late goal kick here. Manco's going to curve into the box. A goal kick? That's a free kick, but it's going to be a 2-2 at full time. Now, the 2-2 on the away leg. Not bad at all. Certainly can't complain. So I'm going to say I'm happy with what I saw out there. But we do have this all-important second leg to come. And we're really going to need to, to pull out all the stops. So here we are for game number two. Where it's currently 2-2 and we are up on away goals. That is it. So we're going with the same lineup. A couple of players a little bit tired. Notably this left-hand side of Harvey and Smith. But... I'm hoping it doesn't have too much of an impact. Obviously, they've just played the same time ago as us. so And they've had to travel here today. So, in theory, they should be even more tired than we are. So, I'm hoping it's not too big of an impact. I'm going to say, keep our run going and win this match. Because it's been a long time since we've seen a defeat. I'm just going to say, we might have risked him, but we didn't feel the need to do so here. And, well, let's just get underway. And hopefully we can pick up a victory. They've got an early throw in here, but Plume wins it. Nods down to McDonald, and we're going to look to create an attack as he runs through the defence. It falls to Harvey, to Sarah Fiore, who hits the post. A great chance to take an early lead, but just can't get it inside the target. And, well, it's a nice early chance, but oh, if only it could have gone in. We've got a throw in here. Plume on the ball once again. And, well, once this highlight finishes, wait till you see their fitness. I'm not sure if I've shown it, but we flick into the box. Petrelli goes just over. It was a close chance, but... Not quite there, but look at this. Their right back is absolutely dead on his feet. And, well, they're looking very tired indeed, even compared to us. So, well, that's a little bit of an advantage, really. So, half-time is here. It's nil-nil, which does, as it stands, mean we would be going through to the final. But, well, th this is anything but secure, isn't it? So... I'm pleased with our things. That, no, I'm just going to say this is a great opportunity to show the pundits that they've been right to back you up. And um, well, a lot of players looking motivated. Not everyone, but it's not terrible by any means. So let's just go out there and hopefully try and find just that goal, that one goal to secure things here. Well, Tuto's played forward to McDonald who strikes, but highlight straight from kickoff and we nearly scored. McDonald absolutely cannoning it against the keeper as we are going to see the unsuring corner kick as we flick into the box. But it's easily claimed by them. And, well, it's a great early chance as we're going to take a free kick. Harvey, edge of the area, strikes, and it's Juan Harvey, who scored both goals in the first tie, scoring again here from another free kick. It's great. It puts us one goal up, and we have that away goal advantage. So they now need to score two to be able to take the lead in this tie, which is not a bad position to be in at all. Well, we've got a throw in deep in their half. Petrelli nods down to Sarafiore, who gets brought down just outside the area. He's going to go check VAR, but I think we can safely say that this will be a free kick. 
Well, he has made his decision, and like I said, it was definitely a free kick. I could have told him that from back here. So, we are going to see it, though. Harvey's going to take. Is he going to shoot? Well, I'm not really sure what it was, but not very good. That's what it was. But we've still got that lead. We're still doing okay. We've got another free kick. Harvey drills into the box. Petrelli hits the corner of the post and the bar. So, so close there, but couldn't quite get it on target. It's, it's still looking good, though. It's still majoritively us in the driving seat. I mean, look at the difference in shots. Their fitness is absolutely destroyed, even more than ours. It's going well so far. Hopefully, we can just see this out, as they've had to make the majority of their substitutions defensively, which is even better. And with 10 seconds remaining, we still have that goal lead and that away goal advantage. It looks like we are going to be advancing to the final of the Eastern Conference playoffs. So let's go and celebrate this and just say passionately, very pleased with the result and your performance. Excellent. Now let's find out who we're playing against. So we are not yet sure if we're playing against Chicago Fire or the Philadelphia Union, but the one important thing about this is it is after that international break. It's in two weeks time, long after it's passed. Everyone should be back fully fit. We should be okay. So I'm quite looking forward to this, to be honest. We've not really had a, a cup final. I guess the closest thing we've had is the relegation playoffs in back with Yaro so many seasons ago. So yeah, I'm quite excited to see how this goes, to be honest. So we'll be back with that tomorrow. So thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all for that. That will be up at 5.30 or you can subscribe to get that into your feed, whichever you prefer. Look at this unbeaten run, by the way. Looking very nice indeed. Hopefully we can keep it going and pull out a win in the conference final, which would be absolutely superb. So thank you all very much for watching. Catch you all tomorrow. Goodbye.